Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Harris gaining an influential Republican endorsement. Judge J. Michael Ludig, a noted conservative legal scholar and lifelong Republican, has endorsed Vice President Harris in the 2024 election. In a style truly fitting his history, he wrote a four and a half page endorsement explaining his reasons for crossing party lines. The reasons he believes Trump to be, quote, singularly unfit to hold the office of the president, the cost of the last Trump presidency to the nation, and while citing the actions of the founders, why he believes other Republicans should put their country over their party. His endorsement of Harris begins by saying, quote, Almost four years ago now, on January 6, 2021, a stake was driven through the heart of America's democracy. And on that day, American democracy was left teetering on a knife's edge. On that day, the prescribed day for choosing the American president, there was not a peaceful transfer of power in the United States of America. For the first time in almost 250 years since the founding of the nation, as a consequence of the former president's continued denial of that appalling day and his defiance of America's democracy on this day almost four years later, millions of Americans still believe that the 2020 presidential election was stolen from the former president, despite the fact that he lost that election fair and square. That's quite an opening. We'll put a link to get to his full statement below, and it's worth the read. Near the end, he says, Regrettably, in the presidential election of 2024, there is only one political party and one candidate for the presidency that can claim the mantle of defender and protector of America's democracy, the Constitution, and the rule of law. As a result, I will unhesitatingly vote for the Democratic Party's candidate for the presidency of the United States. Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. In voting for Vice President Harris, I assume that her public policy views are vastly different from my own, but I am indifferent in this election as to her policy views on any issue other than America's democracy, the Constitution, and the rule of law, as I believe all Americans should be. In the 2024 election for President of the United States, there is no more important issue for America. Now, obviously the response from the Trump loyalists will be to call Ludig a rhino, a Republican in name only. It should be remembered that Ludig was a Republican when Trump was a member of the Independence Party. Ludig was a Republican when Trump was a Democrat. Ludig has been a trusted legal mind in conservative circles for decades. He has reportedly never voted for a Democrat, whereas Trump was one. Who's really the rhino here? To further cement Ludig's conservative credentials and the influence he has on actual conservatives, when a Republican vice president was once asked to subvert the will of the American people and undermine an election, he wrote a letter outlining his reasons for refusing. That letter released by Pence on January 6 cites Ludig. When faced with a decision about preserving democracy, Trump's vice president cited Ludig. Ludig is now giving all American citizens the message Pence got. It is time for all Americans to stand and affirm whether they believe in American democracy, the Constitution, and the rule of law, and want for America the same, or whether they do not. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.